Come on, give God a hand of praise one more time in the sanctuary. And so remember, I is for investing in others, action through serving, and P is promoting unity in our community. And we're going to continue to believe that and trust God for that. Amen. And so uh, we, we, we're expressing that not only that you invest, amen, as a member and a believer in your time and your resources, but you encourage others to invest. Uh, and remember, this is about action business. Amen. God has been blessing us so much. Amen. amen. And, 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 and I want us as a church to stay uh, motivated and, and blessing God. Amen. And we, don't, we shouldn't be willing to bless God when things get crazy in our life. We'll be blessing uh -huh. God when it's going well in our oh, yeah. life. Amen. Right. Amen. That's how you keep the blessings flowing. Amen. And so thanking God for so action in our service and then we promote unity in our community. We want the people to be able to, and before we can unify community, we got to be unified as a body of Christ, as believers in our so God. And so as we go forward today, as we magnify his name uh, and make connection with God today in our worship experience and our praise, I want you to remember to go to um, www.imapartnbc.com if you want to uh, give, amen, be a blessing in giving. We got online giving as well, giving in person. And for those who are going to watch this online, Amen. If you'd like to know more about us, amen, you can go to our webpage, www.imapartnbc.com, and you'll find uh, information as well as only online giving options. Then we thank God today for at 5 o'clock p.m. every Sunday. You can listen to us, amen, uh, at WLOK, amen, 1340 a.m., and then going on 5 FM, amen. And so tune in. We'll say, well, Pastor Barry, I'm, I'm nowhere in the area, but you can listen online. You can Google uh, WLOK, click in and listen, or even on your cell phone, no matter where you are. And so then listen, I'm a part as we part the word of God over the radio airways. And so thank God for, for each and every one of you. And first lady, probably would like to have something to say. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. We are indeed excited that you have joined us here today. Amen. We're happy to see everybody. Amen. Pastor Parham and I have been running all weekend. We just celebrated this past Friday 27 years. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Of husband and wife. Amen. Wow. And our son made us the shirt that said just married 27 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Amen. It was a big hit. Uh, but yeah. I am so excited. And, and just know that marriage is a ministry within itself. Amen. 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 And we know that Satan likes to attack the ministry. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. So just know that if you continue to see God, amen, and whatever it is that Satan is attacking you on, uh -huh. amen, I had to learn to stop talking to her and stop talking to him uh -huh. and stop talking to them. Uh -huh. Amen. God said talk to him. Yeah, right. amen. amen. It makes all the difference in the world. So if uh -huh. you're going through something, it's nothing wrong with seeking some, some godly counsel from people. All right. But All right. trust God. That's what the Sunday school lesson was about this morning. <laughs> Take him at his word. If God said it's, it's settled, then it's settled. Right. You can believe that. Take that to the bank. Oh, yeah. Amen. Right. And so, right. once again, thank you so much for joining us here at I'm a Part. Thank all of you for your well wishes on 27 years of marriage. Amen. Right. God bless. Right. Amen. Come on, give God a hand of praise as the deacons come and bless us today. Right. And the Bible reads, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing thee. I will sing praise unto thee. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. 
All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. I've read you Psalms 138, verses 1 through 5. May the Lord have blessings of the hearers, readers, and followers of his word. Amen. Amen. Gracious Father, we come to you this morning to say thank you. We thank you all for watching over us last night as we sleep and slumber, protecting us from thieves and criminals. We thank you all for waking us this morning, clothing us in the right mind, starting us on the way. We thank you for our help and strength, knowledge and wisdom, food and shelter. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and mercy and your love and kindness. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for bringing our pastor back. That's the way he left, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for watching over his family while he was away. And thank you, Lord, for what, what all you do in our life in, in each and every day. We thank you, Lord, for what you done did and what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, for letting us meet here today, Lord. All together, we thank you, Lord, for all the churches that's open all over the world, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for watching over the sick and the shadows, the less fortunate, the homeless people in the hospital, the institutions, jailhouse, prison, crown, crown of people here in the White House, for more knowledge and wisdom, so they can make the right decision, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we can't do without you, Lord. Come on and give God the glory one more time in this house of God. And as we continue uh, to magnify his name in this hour, we want to make sure that um, we, we understand the announcements today. And so we want our announcers to come and bless us today. Hallelujah. And so that's a blessing. And so as we get ready uh, to go into the ministry of giving, amen, we want our scripture reader to come. Amen. And bless us today in this hour. Ready for the ministry of giving. Amen. If you have your very best gift today, amen, in your hands, amen. We want to be here to give unto God, amen, today. And so, if you, if you believe in sowing uh, the seed of the word of God, we need to sow a seed of the word of God over our seed, amen. And we believe that watering with the word of God is, the, is how we know and believe and trust God that what we give will grow and multiply according to his will. And so we believe. And so let's say a word of affirmation. This is my time. This is my seed. I saw it. Believing and trusting. God shall supply our every need. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 
Uh, today is communion Sunday. Amen. We commune with one another today. Amen. And so at this time, amen. Thank you, God, today. We thank you, God, for the ministry of giving. We thank you, God, for those who have given. We ask, in God, that you continue to bless accordingly in your will and your way. Have your work with your way in this uh, service today, God. And so we thank you, God, for entering in our time of period of giving. We pray that you'll give the increase, the multiplying in the midst of these difficult times and seasons and high prices that we encounter today, God. We thank you, God, for giving us uh, the strength, ability, uh, enough, God, uh, to be able to give into your kingdom. So continue to uh, urge in this power of giving, God, not only just in, our, in, in the church, but also in our community. Allow the seeds to be sown in this house that could be a blessing, God, in the greater ways to touch our lives, God, that are hurting and struggling and that is less fortunate than us, God. So we lift this up to you. And we believe the tithe, the offering, the seed, God, be lifted up, believing that you'll give the increase, that you are the great multiplier of all of our needs. And thank you for supplying. And so now, God, I pray that you, the will be done uh, here on earth as in heaven with, with the our seed, our giving that we turn over to you so, so in your power so that you can take ownership and do what you will in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. At this time, amen, we're going to be blessed uh, by the choir. Amen. They're going to lead us in. Amen. Take us a little bit higher in the Lord.
give him a hand of praise? Come on and give him a hand of praise. How many know that God is good? Oh, come on and magnify him one more time. He's awesome. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for this hour. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be able to assemble again today. We're asking God in this hour, God, that you continue to let your name be magnified. Continue to allow us to be able to feel your power and your presence in this house today. We thank you, God, for everything that you've sought us through and God that you brought us through and how you're watching over our lives God each and every day we thank you God for the blessings God that you shared upon each and every one of us even though that we are not worthy God you still saw fit to look past all of our faults and failures and supply our every need so God we are grateful today we come to God to lift you up we come God to give you the glory and honor and to praise God that you God that you deserve and so we are we asking God that you continue to seek out in this sanctuary those that are hurting those that are needing a word from you those God that are hungry to be fed by you and those that are needing God encouragement from your hand we pray God today that you continue to guide God can take God today that you continue to heal and build up in the mighty name of Jesus and we thank you, God, today in the beauty of your holiness, God. So we magnify your name on high. We ask God in this hour that you will walk through us, walk with us, God, in the text, God. And we pray that you will just speak a word to your people. We pray, God, for those that are lost loved ones, God, all over this country. We pray, God, that you continue to give them peace that surpasses all understanding. Then, God, we ask that you'll bless our families, God, and bless those that are gathered together in our communities, God. I pray that you'll bring peace, God, in the midst of our land, in the midst of our country. We pray that you'll give God the strength to make sound decisions from the White House to the governor's mansion to the mayor's house, God. I, I pray, God, for every leading official across this country. We pray in this time, God, that you'll continue to work through us, God, in a mighty and magnificent way. I realize, God, I'm not worthy, but God, I thank you, God, for your covering. I thank you, God, for your grace, and I thank you, God, for your mercy. I thank you, God, for pulling back the ties and the turns and the troubles on life and giving us, God, a peak at a bright and promising and beautiful future. We ask you, God, that you continue to bless the church of I am a part, God. I pray that you continue to add to it, God. Take away from it what you need and what you declare and declare in your word for this house of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Then we pray, God, that you will seek out other churches, God, and continue to bless. Continue, God, that your word will be a driving force into somebody's life. God, I pray that this time that we'll share with you, that you are God, that you will speak to us and speak through us and speak for us. Forgive all of us, God, of our sins and all of our shortcomings right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, God, fill our hearts today with your word. Fill our hearts today with your presence and fill our hearts today with your power. And God, as Parham stands, I pray that I will decrease so that you'll increase so that you can have your way in this message today. And so, God, I pray that for the ears of the hearers, God, and the hearts of the believers, that you will plant a seed from the pulpit, God, into the pew of the people, God, that reside in this house today. So God, we give you glory, we give you honor right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, my strength and my divine redeemer. This we humbly ask in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen again. God bless each and every one of you. Amen. We, we, we thank God today for allowing us to assemble once again. Amen. And so real quickly, we won't be long, and we understand that it also is, uh, this is our communion Sunday, going to, uh, to the book of Luke. Come on and give it up for the choir blessing us this morning. As we go to the book of Luke, 
chapter 19 in the book of Luke chapter 19 when you have it say thank you Jesus amen and it reads as so and behold there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans and he was rich and he bes- he sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up, saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come down, for today I must abide at thy house. Let us read that again, verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up, saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And I like to use for a fold up. God just gives us a few minutes of time. X marks the spot. Amen. X. Marks the spot. How many of us say we want a deeper relationship with God? Is there anybody here want a deeper relationship with God? And so many times, what what are we seeking for in life? Are we seeking God's hand in every situation and every decision that we're making? We want our life. I don't know about you, but I want a life that is engrafted in the power of Christ. And I don't know about you, but I'm seeking a relationship with God. I'm seeking a relationship better with the church. And I'm seeking relationships better with my neighbor and those that I meet on the street. And I don't know about you, but I thank God today that he has the power to give us what we need. When we need it, just in the nick of time. And how many trust in God for everything that you need in life and everything that you're seeking for and everything that you're asking God for in your life? Many people are searching. They are searching, uh, but don't know what they're searching for. A lot of them are looking and wondering aimlessly through life and don't understand that God is supplier of everything that they need. And how many understand that if can't nobody do it, God can do it for your life. And so many people are searching for relationships and searching for love and searching for fulfillment in all the wrong places. But I understand that no matter what, you can find whatever thing that you need, you can find it in the power of God. Relationship. And I don't know about you, but I want God to strengthen my relationship with him. A relationship and and even in my worship experience with him. Relationship. Meaning relation. Root word in a relation, meaning association. I want to be linked to the master. I want to have a connection with God. Is there anybody looking for a deeper connection with your creator and your savior? No, 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 I want to be able to worship him in the beauty of the holiness. Worship him the way he desires to be worshipped. Worship the word worship. Well, I look at it, the W-O-R, it reminds me that I need a word from God. If I'm going to worship God, I got to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's it. That's it. Then I understand how much God is worth my worship. Mm-hmm. And every time I worship God, the more I become like him in his manner and his actions and in what he desires for me to do. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I trust God in them every step that I've taken. And I pray that every day that we're learning and I'm maturing every day to continue to trust him through the hard places in life. Is anybody trusting God today for the next step that you're going to make? 
When I look at the word worship in the midst of my relationship, in the midst of X marks the spot, I understand that that's a ship there. That means that when I have a right relationship and right standing with God, he's carrying me and transporting me to places that I have not seen. Yeah. How many know that God has some great things waiting on your life? Yeah. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the great things that God has in store for those that love him. And so we're looking at Zacchaeus, and he is making an attempt to see Jesus. And so we, today we hope to learn why is he doing this? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is God going to do with his life? And how can we rightly apply the principles that we read and study in his word to our own life and our own narrative and our own story? I understand and our Lord looking at Zacchaeus I understand the first thing that he had a desire he had to understand just like many of us on this have to understand success doesn't always satisfy That's right. That's right. success doesn't truly satisfy That's right. there's something that Zacchaeus he recognized that he's missing in his life uh -huh. the Bible says that gives us a description of who he is uh -huh. that he's a publican he's a task lecture and nobody likes the tax collector. You know, some of y'all look running from the IRS right here, right now up out of my voice. Amen. Hoping they don't give you no call. And so I thank God today that no matter what it is, he recognized that something is missing in his life. He understands. The Bible said that he's short in stature. That means that he, he sometimes he understands that he has limited ability in who he is and what he can do. And then all that, the Bible says that he is rich. And that means that he has money. But yet he understands that no matter if some things in my life that money cannot buy, there's some problems in my life that money cannot solve. And so now I understand that even though I got everything that I hope for and I may desire, I'm missing one thing. I'm missing Jesus. Is there anybody to understand that can't nobody satisfy you like the Lord? And so many times we walk around and we get false satisfaction. We miss God in the midst of trying to get things instead of trying to get him. Yes, yes. You know, it's like eating something sweet, you know, when you're hungry. Uh, and you eat all this kind of cake, talk about I'm hungry, and you eat cake. And all of a sudden, a few hours later, that, uh, uh, the hunger returned because uh, sweet uh, stuff don't satisfy you uh, like a hearty meal. And how many understand that God is the hearty meal for your life? Uh, he, he not only did he say that those that talk, come to me, they shall never thirst no more. And those that have me in their life, they shall never hunger no more. How many understand that God can give you a satisfaction uh, uh, on yeah. this Christian journey? Uh, yeah. And so we understand that right here, he has to come to the knowledge just like many of us. And we got to start leaning and depending on the law. Success doesn't truly satisfy. No, no. And so therefore, he understands that he hears Jesus. He's coming through and passing through Jericho. Mm -hmm. And the Bible lets us know that his, there's something significant happened. That Zacchaeus had to come to mind just like many of us. Had to start sight and seeing for the sacred. We see him going a sightseeing for the sacred. What do you mean, part him sightseeing for the sacred? How do I understand that Jesus is the sacred text? That Jesus is the word of God. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Then look at continue to read. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. How many understand that Jesus is the word that we need and we're going to make it through the day in the midst of COVID, in the midst of monkey, if y'all go help me here. Does anybody understand that God is there with you? And we need the word and we need God in our life because when we have the word, there's power in Jesus and there's power in the word. You heard about someone down high, maybe Zacchaeus in the midst of his fame and in the midst of his fortune, he heard about Jesus. How many understand that there's a start of development of your faith? Yes, sir. It's when you start hearing about the Lord. Glory to God. And then we understand that not only that he understood that now I need to start sightseeing for something that is sacred in my life. Something that I can't lose. Mm -hmm. Something that I can't mishandle. Something that when it's over my head, he still has in the power of his hand. 
Is there anybody but trusting that God has a plan for your life? And not only does he go on a sightseeing trip to see the sacredness and the power of God over his life. But the Bible says he began, what you mean by him? The Bible says he began to run before it. Climb up into a sycamore tree to see him for himself. Is there anybody glad today that Jesus knows who you are? He got up in a sycamore tree so that he understood that Jesus was passing that way. This is a beautiful thing to have Jesus pass by in your life. When Jesus passed by in your life, healing can happen in your heart. When Jesus passed by, your finances just look like somehow gets a little bit better. When Jesus passes by, your household starts to strive. When Jesus passes by, your church here, starts to get a bit happier. When Jesus passes by, your day gets a little bit brighter. Is that Anybody want Jesus to pass by you? No church said, pass me not. Thou gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Is there anybody that don't want Jesus to pass you by again here today? And so he's on the sight seeing for the sacred. And so he ran and he climbed. What he's teaching us in the inner, as, as we look at the message of God, we understand that he's striving for a solution. Many times I was, I was looking the other day a show and, 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 young, and, and it had some relevant principle to it. And it started talking about the young, young lady was, she was doing her homework she, uh, and, and, and she stopped because she heard her grandmama say, if you pray, Jesus can do it all for you. <laughs> and so the young girl, she stopped doing her homework because it got hard <laughs> and she put a pencil down and she started praying. Then she went and took her homework to school, got a bad grade, came back home and said, Grandmama, you told me that if I just prayed to Jesus, that everything will work out. She said, that's right, baby, I told you everything will work out if you, if you took everything to God in prayer. She said, but grandmama, grandmama, I took, I was studying, I got tired, I laid my pencil down, and I prayed to God to intervene and give me an A. <laughs> and she said, I went to school, I didn't do nothing else, and took the paper, and Jesus did intervene, and I got it up. <laughs> she said, yeah, baby, I did tell you, and it is true that God will step in and handle every situation. All you got to do is pray to God, but it do, you do have to put some effort into meeting God. Y'all go help me here. Is that understanding that there's some time that God wants to bless our life, but many times we are not walking in the way. We're not doing what we can do for the Lord. And so Zacchaeus had to come to the point of the life. That if I'm going to be blessed by God, I got to start doing better with my situation. I got to start making the best out of the life. I got to quit complaining and start praising. I got to quit doing things that is against God's word and start living in according to God's word. And then my prayer will be heard from the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Zacchaeus, see, now he's seeking. And he's striving for a solution. He started climbing. He started moving a little bit higher. He started getting out on the limb. He started pulling up to Jesus. And so we understood he's climbed a sycamore tree. And there's something about the sycamore tree that is so significant that all of us can learn. It symbolizes strength. Yeah, yeah. It symbolize, symbolizes resilience. Mm -hmm. It symbolizes protection. And somewhere down our line, it symbolizes, and many theologians have said that it symbolizes something that is divine. Before God. And understand that he's climbing to a place that he can see the sacred and see the Savior. The one that can, has a solution for every problem that he has in his life. Is there anybody here striving to see Jesus? You're striving to do better. You're striving to go high. That you're reaching a new level in Christ Jesus for your life. In the midst of this, uh, he got to understand, just like many of us, he's overwhelmed with the desire with a deep awareness that despite of the things that I have, I still feel empty. Mm -hmm. There's something missing. Yeah. 
And all of us got to come to the realization that uh, there's something missing in our life when we don't have the Lord. That's crucial to being stronger. That's crucial to making it to the kingdom of heaven. It is crucial to be saved. It is crucial to be able to see God clearly in your life. You got to understand that I need the Lord. And Zacchaeus, he took the opportunity to climb up, to put some effort into his prayer life. Put some effort in his studying of the word of God. To put some effort in spending time with God so I can see God clearly. Is anybody want to see God clearly? Yes. Zacchaeus, he climbed the sycamore tree. And, and the very name of Zacchaeus, it tells us that it's something about him that is, when you study his name, he's pure and innocent. So when he, 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 he climbs the tree and the Bible says that once he gets there, Jesus sees him. Uh-huh. And what are you saying about him? In the midst of the prayer, we see in the midst of the storm, we see that there's a soul searching sight. Yes, yes, yes. Come out and understand that God knows what you need before you need it. How many believe that God knows your heart? And so when he looks up there and he sees I kill, God starts searching his life. I'm glad that God is searching our lives each and every day to see what we need. He's searching our life. And so many times we don't always act like we need God. But I'm glad that God looked past that. And see our shortcomings, but still loves us. Is anybody understand that God still loves you? What a wonderful thing to be seen by Jesus. Zacchaeus, his name says pure and innocent. And Jesus sees past his hardness. See past his stature. See past his riches. See past his spirit. Sometimes we like looking at the outer appearance, but how many know that God looks at the heart? Oh, yeah. And so just like the sycamore tree that he's climbing upon, the sycamore tree barks, tears down. The bark moves and, and, and flicks off so that there's a different bark in between, behind the midst of the flesh of the tree that we see outwardly. There's something happening inwardly. And how many understand that God can look past your experience, see what's in your heart? Because Jesus sees his heart. He says, come on down. I believe you're ready. <laughs> come down. And the Bible says that because Jesus saw him, and the only way Jesus was in your heart, when you open your heart to him, the Bible says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open up, the Bible says I killed. He comes down and, and he receives him joyfully. So we are men and women of God. We got to we learn how to receive Jesus with joy in our heart. And so many times, so it, it, it baffles how if we have understand that he will make us joyful, why do we have to beg people to come to the house of God? If he will make us joyful, how we we have to beg people to talk about Jesus? If, we, if he makes us joyful, why do not we live up to the word of God in our life? How do I understand that God will give you joy, unspeakable joy? The joy that the world can give and the joy that the world can't take away. Is there anybody want the joy of living with Jesus? Zacchaeus he comes, he comes down and, and Jesus goes to abide into his house. Yeah. What's he trying to tell us, Paul? Not only did he have a soul searching sight. Uh-huh. But then we understand that Jesus says, I see your soul and I want to come into your house. Yeah, yeah. And anybody here open your house up to Jesus? Yes, sir. That you open your life up to the Lord. Right, yeah. That you give God the, 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 the head of your house, the head of your life, the head of everything that you are. And then we understand as we close the story, he says that he has a sacrifice that is approved by his Savior. Uh-huh. What you mean, Paul Ham? Zacchaeus, he began to tell the story. He says, and hey, he says, uh, and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold the Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I've taken anything from any man with, by false accusation, I will restore him fourfold. And Jesus said to him, This day salvation is come to thy house. For much you also is a son of Abraham. And so I'm going to understand that we learn from Zacchaeus, if we give God the right sacrifice, yes. 
out of a bright heart and an innocent motive. God knows how to bless our life, change us, and save us to the uttermost. Is there anybody want God to save you to the uttermost in your life? He said, I come to seek and to save which is lost. So Zacchaeus, you understand, when he got to the sycamore tree, X marked the spot. Yes, sir. Now, where has change come? Can you remember what time in your life that Jesus has started making a change in you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today we understand that we need the Lord every day. Amen. And we got to be uncertain. How many believe that Jesus is a rewarder of them that digitally seek him? marks the spot. He found salvation in the Lord. Mm-hmm. And all of us got to leave here one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Somehow, some way. Mm-hmm. And I don't know about you, but the better place to ever be is in the power of the hands of God. Yeah. We learn from Zacchaeus that our riches can't get us there. There's something missing. But nothing like having a relationship with Jesus. Yeah, right. But you got to do your part to say, Lord, I want to see you. In the beauty of your holiness. In the power of your glory. And then as I literally leave you. My future word. Is spot. Yes. It's for God's saving grace. Zacchaeus. He moved to the next level. As he climbed the sycamore tree. And he saw God's saving grace. How many thank God for his grace and mercy over your life. Grace that you didn't deserve. But thank God today he loved us. The Bible lets us know that he is there for us every step of the way. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. And so many of us in there like Zacchaeus now, we're searching. But I need to tell you, the X marks the spot because God has it all in control. Look at the word spot. I see that there is a P. The P let me know that we can operate in the power of a transformed life. Something in your life when you have Jesus starts to change. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't have an encounter with God and still remain the same. Well, look at where spot. I see there is. There is an O. Uh-huh. The O lets me know that I got to be open hearted. And I want God to come on in and clean up everything that the devil is trying to mess up in my life. Yeah. I got to be open hearted and say, God, here I am. Red Thunder. Come on in and abide in me and clean up my life. Is there anybody want God to clean up some things in your life in here today? Well, look at the word spot. Now see, there's a T. The T lets me know that I have to learn how to be thankful. When X marks the spot in my life, when Jesus shows up in my life, we got to learn how to be thankful. And to give him glory on every hand. When God touches your situation, touches your mind, body, and spirit, We have to learn how to be faithful for him filling us with what we've been missing. And as I close, I thank God today for every trial that he's brought me through. I thank him for his love that he's placed upon my life. I thank God for his power, his power to change me. Is there anybody believe that you've been changed in here today? Thanking God for everything he's done for me. are Are you thankful this morning? Can you lift up your hands and say thank you? Thank you Lord. Thank Jesus, thank he loved us so much. Thank you Lord. Thank the Bible said that he hung, bled, and died. Thank you Lord. Is anybody glad that he hung, bled, and died for you? Thank On this Sunday morning, we call in remembrance everything that Jesus did for us. one of us. The Bible says that not only as he died, but he was carrying our sin for a way because he was placed in a borrowed tomb. But then that's not how the story ends. Early one Sunday morning. Is there anybody glad today that Jesus rose up? Early one Sunday morning with all power in his hands. And that means that we can be saved today. All we have to do is learn how to seek Jesus today. And when we seek him, God, God is able to pull us up from everywhere we've fallen down. Are you trusting God for your turnaround today? 
That you know that he's coming back again. That this is not the end. Zacchaeus came to the conclusion that his life was empty without the Lord. And so as he started seeking, he found a magnificent Savior that saved not only him, but his whole household. And I'm glad, I'm glad today that God is still in the saving business. Do you know that he's still in the saving business? X marked the spot. I'm a part of the spot today. But if you don't have Jesus as your personal Savior, let him mark the spot of your life today. This is the place. This is your time. When you get to the place where we have done all you can and have you climbed up to see the Lord, whether you don't know what your sycamore tree may be in your life, but when you climb that, when you give your best and give your all, God sees your efforts. The place, the spot, the X mark the spot. The place where provision is given. The place where you meet Jesus. The place where you receive a turnaround in your yes, life. Lord. Yes, Lord. Zacchaeus, he climbed to see the Lord. Are you willing to go high in your efforts and what you do for God so that you can have the power of God, the salvation of the Lord rest over your life? This is your time. This is your hour. Thank you, Lord. This is your time and this is your hour. At the doors of the church are open. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, today. Thank you, Lord. For his mercy and his magnificence and his glory. Zacchaeus, a rich man, climbed the sycamore tree to see Jesus for himself. And what he found was more than he bargained for. He found the renewing of joy. Thank God today for a joyful heart. The Bible, in fact, it tells us as men and women of God to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lame. God will give you joy unspeakable when your life feels unfulfilled start seeking out the hand of Jesus over your life if this is your hour this is your opportunity this is your time you got to make a sacrifice that is pleasing unto God God whatever is holding me back whatever is messing me up whatever is holding me down from being all that I could be for you God I I give it up. I turn it over. I let it go. I release it right now in the name of Jesus. God is a forgiver. God is a healer. God is a restorer. This is your time. This is your hour. Come run and find Jesus for yourself. He knows your name. He knows your heart. He knows what you're dealing with. The doors of the church are open. Let every head bow and every eye close. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for this time that you have afforded us to come together as men and women and boys and girls, believers in Christ. We pray, God, that as we strive to see you, that our relationship will be strengthened in you. That you will continue, God, to shape and mold and sanctify our life so that we can become more like you. Thank you, God, for while we were yet sinners, you loved us in spite of. Thank you, God, for stopping by our homes and Stopping by our churches. Taking a seat at the table of our life. Helping us, God, to, to have the mind to, to restore, to give back to our communities, to, to right the wrongs in our life. Thank you, Dave, for, for just being there with us, God, every step of the way. When we read your word, God, and we have faith that 
that you are the power of the sacred that is in our life today the holy word living on the inside of us help us to live it God help us to walk worthy help us to walk holy according to your will we desire you God we desire your touch we desire your hand we desire your presence in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray touch homes God touch houses receive God your people open up our hearts to receive you so we can receive a life change in Jesus name so we give you the glory and we give you the honor and all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus we pray when the children of God say amen amen and amen again hallelujah and we get ready to take part in our communion and we get ready to take part in our communion remember what Jesus has done for you how he saved your life the X marks the spot in your life that were you seen Christ.